hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is runja patel guys in this video i'm going to talk about a very very important concept in service now that is ui action how we can create a ui action how we can write a, a code in ui action can we execute ui action in the server side as well as the client side is it possible these all questions answer I will be giving to you in this video. Fine. So just bear with me till end of this video. You will get all the answer related to UI action. First, uh, let's understand how we can create a UI action in service now. And what's the purpose of uh, creating a UI action? So whenever you are on the form, you know that so these all are called a ui action okay let me just refresh this uh, um page okay so you can see here delete resolve update follow these all are ui action right and every button or every ui action have their own purpose right let's say if you want to delete the record we can click on the delete ui action and this record will get deleted right so how we can create our own ui action let's say if we want to apply our own logic so these are all the out of the box uh, ui action present on the form so before uh, let's say if i'm clicking on delete then uh, we should ask for the confirmation right something our own code we we want to execute then how we can do so right so uh, let's understand uh, that how we can create a ui action so there are two ways we can do so uh, whether you can just navigate to ui action and under the system definition you just click the ui action menu and you have option uh, this is again a ui action new if you will click over here then uh, it will present one form this is the ui action form basically right and if you want to create a ui action on the incident form just open the incident and right click and go to configure and then uh, select the ui action right so these uh, 53 ui action is already present on the incident form right if we want to create our own we can just click on the new and uh, ui action form is ready right so here we can provide the name let's understand each and every uh, attribute over here right so for that uh, uh, what i have done i have selected two ui action over here that is assigned to me which is running on the incident table and the second one assigned to me which is running on the task table i have uh, selected a same uh, ui action there is a reason behind it i will um, tell you in couple of minutes basically fine so uh, okay so first let's understand which is there on the incident form so here we can define a assign to okay this is the assign to me means this is the name which will appear on the form so right now okay let me just open any uh, form over here or uh, let's say it is on a new okay so uh, right now uh, there is no assign to button visible over here correct although we have uh, um, assigned to ui action on the incident and uh, there is no condition we have written so by default it should display right but it is not displaying this ui action is there on the task table and uh, incident will extend the task table so if this one is not appearing then this would appear right but this one is also not appearing on the form because we have not configured in such a way that it should appear on the form okay so uh okay let me just save this one as well so uh assign to a uh, how we can make sure that means it will display on the form right so okay let me just <clears throat> sorry 
close this one so we have a uh, let's understand first one by one all the attribute that is the very very important so first one is assigned to me i means this is the name which will appear on the <coughs> form and then uh, on which table you want to apply on this ui action then we have selected the incident order again the similar way this is a very very important one action name i will discuss this uh, in couple of minutes active again uh, whether it is active or not uh, so insert means uh, while creating a new record if you want to display this ui action then you have to click on the show insert checkbox so on update uh, if existing record uh, if you want to display this ui action then um, click on um, show update checkbox client means uh, we have a client callable so the moment you will select this um, client then uh, uh, list v2 capability list v3 uh, uh, compatible uh, it will appear by default and we uh, we will get one more um, field called on click right so this will also i will discuss a uh, little bit later okay and override uh, means uh, if you want to apply any existing ui action on top of it then you can just select the ui action from here all right okay message which you want to display uh, that message will come over here comment uh, you just mention over here um assign the incident to the current user from the list menu because uh list uh, context menu so as of now we have selected the list context menu so this is only applicable for list um, context menu that's why the comment we have maintained like this if we have applied on other places also then we can write a comment um, related to that right so again this is a free text it's up to you how you are writing any hint you are writing on this any condition condition means basically on which condition basically right okay so let me showcase you okay so gs dot has role itl so if we want to uh, showcase this ui action if um, um, user has the itl role then we can apply this condition over here as well fine and uh, here this is the important one uh, the action which we need to perform uh, in this uh, um, script section we will be writing our own logic right to perform the action once the user click on the uh, assign to me button then uh, we have uh, something workspace right so workspace is something like uh, <clears throat> this is a, again a workspace form button if you will click over here then it will display on the form right uh, in workspace view basically and workspace form menu it will display in the form menu and this one will be selectable once you will select this one all right so form and uh, this will uh, ui action will be used in a configurable workspace so if you are uh, like uh, um, retain any um workspace custom workspace if on that if you want to display then it will display if you have to make this checkbox checked right so these these are all are related to workspace if you want to make sure that this ui action to be present on the workspace as well then you have to make this option selectable required role if you want to control again uh, through the role that means the a specific person have this role then only it will display this ui action on the form or list view wherever you are configuring then uh, you can just uh, add the role over here right ui action uh, visibility uh, basically um, you can choose where it will display basically a uh, visibility i would say if you are dealing with the multiple view form view basically and uh, if you want to make sure that means this ui action display on the uh, specific view then you just uh, <clears throat> select the view from this edit option and then uh, your ui action will be applicable for that view only if you are not selecting it means it will be applicable for all view fine hope you understood this one now the very very important one these right side options so right side options where it will define where and in which place of uh, the form uh, this ui action will display 
सो लेट से राइट नाउ लिस्ट कंटेक्सट मेनू सो लिस्ट कंटेक्स मेनू वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द लिस्ट मीन्स वी हैव टू गो ऑन द लिस्ट व्यू सो लिस्ट कंटेक्स मेनू मीन्स विच वन इफ यू राइट क्लिक ओम बर हियर देन दिस विल बी दिस इज कॉल्ड अ लिस्ट कंटेक्स मेनू यू गॉट इट सो लेट मी जस्ट रिफ्रेस इट एंड इफ आई विल राइट क्लिक देन हियर यू कैन सी द असाइन टू मी ऑप्शन इज विजिबल सो वट आई एम गोइंग टू डू ओके सो इट इज एप्लीकेबल दिस वन इट इज शोइंग दिस यू आई एक्शन आई एम जस्ट मेकिंग दिस असाइन टू मी डैश वन सो दैट वी विल डिफ्रेंशिएट दैट मी ओके दिस इज द वन विच इज डिस्प्लेइंग राइट सो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू सेव दिस fine so now here we will just uh, refresh again and i will do a right click then you can see here assign to me is visible now correct now if you will ask me runje uh, this assign to me is visible but what about this one this is the parent one right so if we are extending this task table then this assigned to me should also be visible because we are also applying on the uh, list context menu the answer is uh, why it is not getting displayed this is also a important question and whenever i take uh, interview then i used to ask this question if you want to apply uh, let's say if we want to create a um, uh, save or update button on the incident form then how you will do because uh, one update button is already present but in i want to create our own and i want to apply a logic whatever i want on that ui action so definitely i don't want to touch the out of the box one <coughs> right so if you are touching the out of the box one it will create a problem while upgrading so you have to make sure that means you are not touching the out of the box one then how you will do you cannot make it inactive also if you will make it inactive it will go from everywhere because this is the this buttons are global button right this will app uh, uh, available everywhere then how you will do this is the important questions interviewer will ask the here is the answer i was talking about this action action name so if you can see here action name is same for this incident as well as on the task right so if you are creating uh, if one ui action there is on the parent table and the second ui action is there on the your child table and the action name is same then a uh, parent ui action will not be visible you have to make sure that means the action name is same if action name is different then uh it will display a both ui action so let me make you understand so i'm just going to do i'm just change going to change this action name and then we will see whether this ui action will display or not on the list view right so i have just made a changes and we'll see now i will do a right click and now you can see two assigned to uh, uh action is visible one is um, we have amended it and the second one is uh, the task one right because we have just changed the uh, this action name let me just remove it and then save it then only this will be visible on the context menu right so you have to basically refresh it and then as you can see here the task one it gone you got it so action will uh, this is the answer basically if you want to uh, create a update let's say if you want to create a update ui action on the incident form you just uh, make sure that means whatever the update uh, ui action having a uh, action name you can give the same ui action name for your child okay so it uh, the parent one won't appear on your form now uh, let's understand what is the form button so i'll just save it form button is basically over here it it will display right so i'm just going to save this 
one by one i'll be showcasing you so that it will be easy for you so just uh, refresh it right so as you can see here assign to me is visible now and uh, if i want to display on the form context menu so again let me just um, save this one form context menu means this one i will explain you so now from here it will go and it will come over here assigned to me this is the form context menu and this one is the list context menu got it now if i want to display as a form link then i will be selecting this one form link and i will be saving this and form link basically here it will come this is the form link related link basically so just uh, refresh it okay and then <coughs> it will start appearing over here as you can see here right now form link is also done uh, this is for uh, um, secondary like if, if you can see here it is rec uh, recommended that you configure only one primary button okay now uh, list banner basically okay so let me explain you list banner list button banner right um bottom button basically sorry list banner button and list bottom button okay so list banner button means this one okay here it will start appearing and bottom button means it will start appearing over here right let me showcase you uh, again and let me save this one both so that it will start appearing let me refresh it so as you can see here now it start appearing this is the list banner button and this is list bottom button okay and now if i want to display as a choice then i will say choice okay choice means where it will come this is your choice so just refresh it and here it will come assigned to okay if you will select over here then it will appear assigned to got it now uh, the last one we have that is the list link list link means if you will save this uh, we have to come over here if you will uh, scroll down there is nothing if i will refresh then now uh, the related link will appear over here this is the uh, list link hope you got it this is <clears throat> very very simple okay where we want to display our button based on these options we can control if it is related to workspace then we can control from here right and here we can write our logic so basically ui action is a server side script we can write our all the server side out of the box functionality like gas all those steps we can write current we can use current dot assign to is equal to gs dot get user id it will get give me the logged in user and then we will update it so and these are all logic written to display a message all those steps right so hope you got it how you action work the important question make sure that you should remember uh, if i want to create a, a similar button on the um, child table then you have to make sure that means action name is same would be same correct thank you thanks for watching and uh, if you have not liked and subscribed my channel please do so it's really helped me or motivate me to make a video on the different different topics thank you